focused right. stuff. Yep. All right, obviously it's been a while since you've been out there. Uh, just talk to the level of excitement and of how happy you are to be, be, be back out there and be in the middle of that defense. Yeah, I'm just super excited. I'm uh, just very proud of the team and the guys who stepped up, played very well when I was on and certain stuff. It's just uh, it's excited to go out there and contribute to my teammates. That's really all my part of it. Do you feel like you almost have to pace yourself when you're out there so you don't get too amped up when you're out there? Yeah, especially in practice the last couple of days. Like My teammates have been telling me, like, because I always go as like, fast as I can and stuff. I'm probably going to keep playing them sometimes. But, uh, yeah, just out there having fun and just enjoying it, being back on my fifth. The last one I have for you is just – you have experience in this league in this postseason as you get ready for that. Coach was just saying how you can't have any substitute for postseason experience. How much do you think that's going to benefit you as you guys walk down the stretch? I mean, it just comes down to doing what you coach to do and having confidence what you're doing with your teammates. I mean, if you go out there and you coach well, it's easy to go out there and play well. So, kind of a team deal. Maybe last year you all made the postseason, but all the games like in Ohio, how's it feel to get a whole playoff game here? It's been really cool. I'm really looking forward to it, uh, especially since I haven't gotten to really play in front of the Birmingham fans and stuff and have one game. I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, I'm really focused on this week and I appreciate what's going on. Coach, you guys are winding down, ready to see some play. You guys have already clinched. Uh, obviously, the defending champs, I know you don't want to talk about much of last year, but what's the vibe of this football team right now as you head into the end of the year? Um, really positive. Um, we talked a lot about the new faces that have been added during the season. As I said, it's kind of like getting on a roller coaster halfway down the hill. Um, it's, not always, it's not always easy. It's taken us a while to gel, but I really think they're starting to start to play well together, start to communicate. Uh, I like the way they're working. They have great attitudes. It's a, it's a business approach type of team. I mean, they like that fun. They like to joke around. Uh, but when it comes time to work, they've been, they've been really focused and dialed in. So I think we've had a good week of practice. I know a lot of people say this game doesn't mean anything. Uh, you wouldn't know it watching practice this week. You know what I mean? They've been focused out in. And anytime we put the ball on the team, we want to win. You know, anytime we do it. And I think it's going to be an opportunity for us to roll into the playoffs on a hot note, hopefully. You get one of your emotional leaders back on defense, the heart and soul of that defense from a year ago. What's it going to be like seeing Scooby back out there as you get him ready for the playoff? It's going to be unbelievable. It's going to be great. I mean, we've been waiting for this for a long time, you know, and so he is he's such an emotional, um, he's an energy plug for us. I mean, he's our energizer bunny, uh, and he brings an awful lot, very similar to what a JoJo brought to our defense and the difference he made. And having both of them out there is going to be huge. He, both the kickers, I mean, both uh, him and Brandon both have been outstanding. I mean, they've done an excellent job, but uh, I call Colby Gus our kicking mule. You know, he averaged 57 yards a punt, I think is what it was last week. He's done an unbelievable job. I'm just really proud of both of them, and I think they've both been uh, staples for us the last two years. It's great. That it's been great to have them both back. Um, I hope we can do it again, but I think it's going to be a little harder to hide them this time. Uh, now that they've done it for two years at this level, and I think they're both going to have uh, different opportunities ahead of them. Um, but I would love to have them back again. I think they have been difference makers in the kicking game for sure. And I think Chris Bonier has made, uh, he's helped make an impact. I mean, he's been in the NFL for a lot of years. He knows what that takes and a lot of the little things that, that those guys need as specialists, I think he's helped provide as well. No, I mean, I, my thought didn't arrest anybody, you know, I thought, you know, was, uh, we got to look at it, but um, I said to the players, anybody that wants to sit, come see me, you know, I mean, if this is something you feel you need physically, mentally, emotionally, to get ready for the playoffs, come see me. Uh, I haven't had a single player come see me, you know what I mean, but I kind of put it in their hands, but I didn't look at it. I. I don't think it's healthy uh, to sit down and just go, okay, why don't you sit out for a week, get out of rhythm, uh, let's lose our tempo, and then let's see if we can find it magically in a week again. Uh, I think the best thing that we can do is keep playing. I mean, I think that's the best way to still play uh, at a really high level uh, where everybody's communicating and working together. And I was uh, excited nobody came to see me. You know, we got some injuries, but at the same time, I mean, we got a lot of guys that want to play, and that's encouraging. As you guys wind down the regular season and get ready for the playoffs, the guys that were on that team last year, how valuable is it to have guys that have been through these wars? Well, you, you've always heard playoff experience and how important that is. You know, I mean, playoff experience is different. It's a win or go home type of mindset. And it's, like, it's nice to have guys that have, that have been in that arena, that have been in that uh, pressure cooker, so to speak. 
uh, and have handled it. And then, you know what, it just gets that much easier the second time or the third time. And so uh, it's certainly nice to have a bunch of those guys. And we talked earlier about getting Scooby back, uh, you know, and the role that he plays for us. I mean, he not only played in this role, but uh, scored a touchdown in the championship game on defense, you know. And so it's nice to have those guys back for sure. All right, you guys worked down the stretch. Coach just said, if anybody doesn't want to play this week, come see me. You said no one's coming to see me. What does that say about this team that you guys are all in and finishing the season strong? Yeah, we we play for each other. I don't think we play for the, the standings, the stats, or whatever. We play for each other, and, and that's evident. I think every time we go on the field, that's evident when, let's say, we, we have a turnover. The defense goes right back out there and picks us up. If, if they give up a touchdown, we go and pick them up. It's just about playing for one another. and. That team resembles us every day. You guys playing pretty good football down the stretch here. Right now, what would you say is kind of the identity of this football team as you guys head into the postseason? I think we have a we have a strong O line. I think that's what really sets it off. We can run, we can pass block, we can do a lot of things. And you know, when they give give me a, you know a few seconds back there to throw the ball, I can usually find somewhere to go with it. Just due to the fact that we have so many good receivers and the depth's insane, and just the versatility of our running backs. Um, and our defense is outstanding, and they've been playing really, really well late. Um, special teams is unbelievable, and when you have all three phases like that working, it's, it's hard to touch. You're the quarterback of the offense, obviously. You're about to get your quarterback and the defense back. Scooby, an emotional leader on this team. How excited are you to have him back, and how big is that for this football team? Yeah, it's a, like, like you said, emotional leader for the, for the, for the team. You know, he's, um, he brings the juice on game days, especially on a road, road game like, like this week. He's going to be out there screaming, you know, doing the sharp dog. It's going to be awesome. So it's just really good to have him back, glad he's healthy.